And uh, we are just about underway as Dane Kelly stands over the ball. And here we go, Reno in blue uniforms in Rio Grande Valley wearing the reds tonight. A bit draining, so. Trying to set it up for Dane Kelly. Kelly can't get it past Carducci, and uh, he is going to regret that one. Cleared out of the box temporarily. Hopano oh. tripped up. Kelly. Too high. Not this time. With the amount of penalties he's taken the last few weeks, you'd almost want to put someone else on that duty because people have a lot of homework to do against him. And Here comes a quick counterattack for Rio Grande Valley as Rodriguez sends it up top into the box. Tarbell, and it's cleared away by Ockfer, but not again. Are they going to say that's a goal? And it looks like it is Memo Rodriguez who had two goals in his only start. He has another as Reno can't get it cleared away. That all came from the space between the midfield and defense for, for Reno 1868. Memo Rodriguez was able to find space to hit Todd Wharton and Reno could not get it out of there. Reno 1868 fans in the Battleborn Brigade have been treated to 10 goals for and zero against. Dane Kelly, the answer! We're tied up at one. And what a ball from Opano to find Dane Kelly into space. And Dane Kelly does not miss from there. Cool, calm, collected finish from USL top scorer. Dane Kelly has been unbelievable for Reno here in 2017. His 11th goal of the season. Make that 60 now. Met by Mafeka. Kanzer sends it back, right-footed strike and knocked away by Tarbell. What a great save that was. Over the ball, it's Escalante who takes it, left foot into the box, headed away by Kelly. Now Oxford, still trouble, and ricocheted out of bounds. It will be Weehan. Gets into the post, but Kelly couldn't control it as he collides with LaGrasa. Boy, that was a good spot. Great ball by Chris Weehan. Rodriguez gets into the box. Tarbell able to get it away. And Oxford, what a job. Jimmy Oxford just saved the equalizer. Huge from Jimmy Oxford there. He senses the danger. He sees that, that Tarbell's coming off of his line. And he's able to get to it right before it, gets a, it goes to the goal line. And he clears it away for a corner kick. Weehan into the box. Oh, and Griffiths trying to redirect there. Had a real good spot. Another great set piece play by Chris Weehan. Yeah, real dangerous from Chris Weehan. He puts it in that spot between where the defense is set up and where the goalkeeper can reach it. And Brenton Griffiths just inches away from a wonderful finish there. Magalhaes comes up and keeps it going. Kasner now on the assault. Kasner, the headed deflection and too wide as Wharton came in and tried to redirect it, and that was trouble for Reno. Wharton really should have put that away there. It was an excellent ball from Kasner to find him on that far post, and he has all the space and time in the world to just put that away, and he hits it wide. Agaleus into the box. Whistle blown that time, and that is dangerous for Reno. Bird gets it in, and we are tied at two. Unbelievable. One more look. Bird going to the right side. Tarbell staying home, kind of guessing right, and Eric Bird will equalize this game at two goals apiece. Here's Mefeckin out of Felipe. Here comes Reed on the attack. Richards. Brett Richards, goal! Reno's back on top. And it's a beautiful play from Reno, able to switch the play. Lindo Mafeka finds space, sends Brent Richards forward, and Brent Richards 
Richards tucks it away first time with a fantastic finish. That is the ball game. Reno once again coming out on top. What a battle here tonight against Rio Grande Valley. And those scenes say it all.